This week, we are joining forces with the World Positive Education Accelerator, which is this international conference that brings together educators, doctors, and psychologists from all over the world to talk about what's really working in their communities. And today, we're talking about changes we can make as adults that will help build resilient tr children. So we are joined by Lee Waters, the president of International Positive Psychology Association and the author of Strength Switch. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, well, congratulations on the book. Thank first you. First of all, very Thanks. exciting. So you, th this new book is focusing on this philosophy of strength-based parenting. Yeah. What exactly does that mean? Great question. And you know, in a nutshell, it's just, it's an approach to parenting where yeah. we seek first to help our kids maximize and make the most of the talents, the skills, the assets, those little quirky positive aspects of their personality first. Okay before we focus on compensating for what's missing or fixing weaknesses or fixing flaws. So it's a, that's why it's called the strength switch. It's just a shift in orientation. What's right about my child first uh -huh. before what's wrong about my child. Oh, interesting. So for example, with, um, I have a one-year-old, she's great at walking. She's oh, very beautiful. active, but yeah. she doesn't say a lot. No. So, so at, at age one, yeah. would you focus on, yes, you're so active yeah. and good at moving. Do you start that early? Absolutely. Never too early to start. Okay. And, and a key part about strength-based parenting is starting with yourself. Uh -huh. So what are your own strengths that you can bring into the parenting role? Oh, interesting. Because as parents, you know, we tend to get very down on ourselves and we focus on what we're not doing, what we're doing wrong. Yeah. So putting our attention first on what, do I, what am I doing right as a parent? But yeah, absolutely. In, in, in the case of your daughter, really okay. motivating her for what, where she's advanced, what she's doing well, that's, and celebrating that. That's good. And we can work on that throughout the ages. You know, we, yes. we are so surrounded, though, by negative mm -hmm. messages. It's yeah. almost like we tend to automatically see what's wrong before we acknowledge what's good and yes. social media does not help this. So <laughs> when we've learned this can yeah. lead to anxiety, uh, depression, yeah. what's the one thing we can all start doing today? One thing, to okay. Stop that? Well, I would, a really lovely family practice, it's called uh -huh. WWW and okay. that stands for what went well. So just sometime during the day, maybe at the dinner table, maybe just before you tuck into bed, maybe on, in the trip on the way home from school, asking your kids what went well today. It's just a reorientation. Oh, great. So we've got the the WWW. Yeah. And also you suggest a gratitude jar. Yeah, Tell I me about this. this. I love the idea things. of this. It's a beautiful thing to do. So put up a, set up a gratitude jar in the kitchen or the family lounge room somewhere with some sticky notes. Uh -huh. And just once a week, ask your kids, you know, what do you feel thankful for? What went well for you during the week? What made you feel great? What do you feel grateful for? And as the jar fills up, when uh -huh. it gets to, when it's fill, go to a cafe, have a milkshake, and pick out the little sticky notes. And over the last few months, remember, oh yeah, that's right, we had that beautiful picnic, I had that great play date with my friend, that's I did well on excellent. an exam. We have a, a little, um, a grateful board, oh, yes. we, but we beautiful. erase it every day, but I really mm. like this, it kind of adds it up, and then you can yeah. look back on it and reflect. That's and that's key. the added element to the board, is that you look back and you remember, and it's like a double, you get two for the price of one, because you have yes. gratitude in that moment, and then a couple of months later at the cafe, you're like, oh yeah, that was a really nice time. And there was one more suggestion you had for Yes, families. and I love this one too for older kids, which is yeah. the positive photography project. Especially right now, we're coming into summer vacation, setting a project where once yeah. a day, I'm gonna get my iPhone, I'm gonna take a photograph of something that makes me feel happy today. Maybe it's my dog, maybe it's a good cup of coffee, maybe it's a play date with a friend, maybe it's the garden, Maybe it's my new decorated bedroom. Well, and so isn't this a way, you bring that up uh, to, to make social, sometimes people are so down on social media. Yes. Um, but if you look at it as, these are just the things I love in yep. my life. Yep. Can that kind of flip the switch in a way instead yeah. of comparison more so? Just this is what I like. Yes, it's a, such a nice way to use social media because it's just sharing joy. And uh -huh. the interesting thing about social media is the psychologists have found that if you share a positive post, it's three times more likely to be shared by other people than mm -hmm. if you share a negative post. Yeah. And it's also more likely to be shared on. So if I share a positive post mm -hmm. of something then well that's happened, it, yeah. you share else. it, you share it with someone else. So my positive news ends up having a positive impact on someone I don't even know who's part of your mm -hmm. social media, media mm -hmm. network, but not part of mine. So here we are, middle of summer. I, <laughs> yeah. I know some of our parents watching right now are thinking, okay, we're at the boiling point, mm. I'm exhausted. You, you can yeah. get frustrated over little things. Do, what advice do you have to kind of keep those frustrations at bay yeah. as some moms and dads are home with their kids throughout the summer and kind of looking for things oh to do? Oh my goodness, and to, you know, I so relate to keep that. With two children, 15 year old son and 11 year old yeah. daughter by week two of summer vacation, I'm like, no, oh, come on. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like medicine, prevention yeah. is the best cure. So thinking about your holiday, planning out. Um, I mean, the best thing about holidays is you're not routined. 
but it's also good to have some plans mm -hmm. to prevent the arguments by, by making sure that your, your kids are doing different activities, they've got time away from each other. Again, with summer vacation, this is a lovely opportunity to have some kind of project and maybe it's the positive photography project. Getting kids to choose different projects so they get, they're having time away. Yeah. Prevention is always the best cure. Having said that, you can't fully prevent fights with kids on sure. holidays or you <laughs> wanting to kill them. We understand. So in that yeah. moment, in the moment of tension, just diffusion. Mm. Just step mm. back as a parent and put it into context. It's hot, we're in each other's faces, we're bothered and, and not have that moment of, in the moment where kids fight, I don't know about you, but I always feel like my kids are always fighting. The truth of the matter is, they're not. It's occasional yeah. moments. So again, coming back to your first question, focusing on the positive, focusing okay. on the times where they're cooperating, when they're at ease, when they're in harmony, and putting that into perspective in that moment of tension. Well, thank you so much. You've been a positive light for us this morning. And thank you. we appreciate it. Again, the book, you guys, is The Strength Switch. Thank Lee you Waters, so thank much. Thank you.